Hello and welcome to Physics Problems One by One. So here is a problem. As always, read it, maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. S straightforward problem today. We have a body. It's free fall. The moment it is free fall, we know that A equals G. And G equals 9.8 meter per second squared. It's always like that. If it's free fall, G is known. So when they say free fall, it's euphemism. You know acceleration. Fantastic. And also this is ground. And this distance is known. And there would be a lot of distances, so this is a full distance, so say this is L and this is T capital, length capital and T capital. T capital is the time that it takes to reach from top to bottom. Uh, and L is a full distance and L is known. And now they are asking us what will happen in the first second, what distance and what would be the distance, uh, time to cover the first meter. So, we are concerned now with something that happens in the beginning. So, let's call this D1 and let's call it T1. And let's, the first case, that T1 is known. And it's one second. Right. So we can write the formula. Pause. We can write the formula. It's about the distance, distance one, that's covered with initial speed equals zero, and it is uh, acceleration constant. So d one equals v zero t t plus a t squared divided over, divided over 2. So, v0 zero equals 0. So, it would be gone. And distance is acceleration equal g. t1 squared. So, t1 is known. We immediately know distance. Distance 1 is g t1 squared over 2. We can put the numbers, we can write it here that T1 equals 1 second and D1 equals GT1 squared over 2. We put the numbers, G is 9.8, T is 1 squared over 2, 9.8 over 2 we have 4.9 meters and this is the result we have 4.9 meters it's the first second okay that's very good so let's now say that this is second d1 is known D1 is known, it's one meter, and accordingly they want to find out what is the time that's required. And I put one and D, one here and here, just to indicate that this is the beginning of things. The formula is, pause, you got it right, the formula is exactly the same. D1 equal initial speed 0 multiplied by T1 plus acceleration is A T1 squared over 2. D1 equals G T1 squared over 2. What is known? D1 is known. Okay, so we can say that T1 squared. Uh, equal 2d over g. Copy, don't meow. 
t1 equals square root of 2d over g. So I put this 1, I put this 2, and the formula for t1 becomes square root 2d over g, and it would be the time to cover the first meter. So d1 is known, and d1 I put here, and of course t1 becomes square root 2 divided 9.8. You can put in calculator 9.8, but I put t. And it will be square root of 0 0.2. And uh, you can use it in calculator, but I can tell that 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 will be 0 0.25, and 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.4 would be um, 0 0.16, so it would be somewhere in between. So it would be 0 0.45 seconds. And it would be 0 0.45 seconds. So if we drop the body, and by the way, we absolutely haven't used how far from the ground we dropped. All we need is one second. And if it is one second, in this second we pass five meters. And one meter, 0 0.45 seconds. So this is how things going in the beginning. I'll go a little bit later about that. Subscribe, bell, like, comment, question, your problem, and I will see you next time. Thank you.